Oh my it. god. <laughs> <laughs> can you see me yeah, I can't yeah. see you boys your, yours, uh, your zoom is Brent Meister General your zoom <laughs> <laughs> hello <laughs> you right? fucking hell I'm excited <laughs> I've been um... <laughs> sorry about this Joe but uh, I'm not David Brent <laughs> um, I've been I've been dismissed to my wife's counselling room she's a mental health counsellor I need that <laughs> massively that is a true that is a fact um but this is her office because oh I'm doing the housework you can't do this while I'm doing the housework love me pathetic <laughs> sorry straight into bread you all right it's incredible <laughs> flipping hell you boys you boys oh. le absolute legends well, not comparatively. <laughs> no, I don't. I can't stop the way looking at how you do the tie, fiddling with oh. the tie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you like it, Joe? Yeah. Two for a tenner from Nobby Burton down the market. <laughs> four, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Oh my God. I'm on. I'm so. What am I? I'm. I'm on the back foot here because I'm just gonna giggle. <laughs> Flipping hell. <laughs> you on the back <laughs> foot. You have a laugh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You bloody right, mate. Oh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Calm so down. flipping hell. Yeah. I like how you're doing that in your little chair. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want a job here? Shoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he gives the tests. Oh, <laughs> oh God. fucking hell! This is mind blowing. Is this real? What's happening? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Cameo uh, videos, mate. I just do thousands of them. Do you? Yeah. There's a lot of. I suppose I've been doing this 20 Hang years. On a minute. So... I can't just slip in and out. Of... <laughs> Are you going to ask oh, me? That's, what she, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> Dave, Dave throws in an innuendo. Yeah. <laughs> you, won't win a, you won't win a Pulitzer for filth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh... So, yeah, how did you start being a Brent impersonator? Um, not very interesting story to be honest with you, Joe. Um, okay, perfect, perfect for this. Point. Yeah, no, I used to, I used to run a um an events business where I would um you know, hire out bands and DJs and all sorts of entertainers and stuff. I did it for eighteen years. Um, and I had a PA at the time, and she said, every time you tell me to do something, you sound like this character on this new on this documentary on BBC Two on at 11 o'clock on a Monday night. She goes, you really sound like him. And I hadn't seen it at, at that time. So I watched it and I went back in the next morning. I went, you're fired. Get out. <laughs> um, but I thought, yeah, I do sound a bit like him. And then I start, I looked like him as well. Um, so I, grow, I grew the goats. I get, kept getting appro approached in my local town, you know. In you, what, same... Hang on. You're from East Grinstead, aren't you? Yeah. I saw hey. you. Because I'm from East Grinstead. I used to live in Hartfield. Yeah. So I saw you on the train a couple of years ago. I went, fucking <laughs> hell. Oh, I wish I saw you. I would have fanned. Well, I think David was doing it the other way. Yeah. Yeah. So have you I mean, lived yeah, in I'm East always Grinstead? on the train. Right. Always. Yeah, always up and down. You know <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would have either been going to do a gig... Um, what I call a gig is different to you. Yeah, what, what is a gig? Yeah, what is a gig? So a gig to me would be just going into someone's office um, and doing a spoof motivational speech for them all. <laughs> um, walking around, recreating scenes from the office and they film it and then they use it on their social media and stuff, you know? So that, that sort of thing, I'm, I was probably heading into an office. If I wasn't, I'd be going to a stag do or a wedding um, you know, I just get hired. Brent fits in balls. to a lot of things. Perfect, isn't in. it? 
Yeah. A lot I of events. Yeah. I saw a I saw one of uh Stagley, someone was filming up the stairs and you appear at the door and it's so funny. Because he just oh. opened his mates don't know. <laughs> yeah. And <you> yeah. Just... <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> I like I like uh, when Brent goes. Uh, I'm coming up, so I better get the pipes like shut them off. You know, and he goes, I love doing that. I love that. that. That really, yeah, that gets things going. But yeah, I can just, I just, I'm so thick skinned now. I can just walk. I just do it. I just, yeah. You know, because I, I was it. like, shit, I'd it. be. So, so there's no. <laughs> so if someone's, is there certain things you won't? If someone says, "I'll oh, come and do my wedding," you, yeah. Don't do yes, anything you go. I'm not doing a funeral. What, 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 what won't? What I tell you what, you just reminded me, Joe. So, oh, I always thought, yeah, Brent fits into nearly every event there is, right? Mm. But if anyone asked me to do like a funeral or something, I'd never do a funeral. But then these lads asked me to do a wake, and they said their mate had died and he was sort of mid 30s, um, he was a raver. And he died of too much, too much of that. And mm. yeah, crazy, crazy lifestyle, which he, he didn't, he, you know, that's how he wanted to be. And all his mates were lads and they kept badgering me. They kept saying, please come. He was the, the biggest fan. Um, he'd love it if you, if he knew you were here, blah, blah, blah. And I said, I can't be a few, what about the family? And they were like, no, and they overwhelmed. There was, he had about, 50 very close raving friends who all wanted me to be there and it was in Eastbourne right so I went to this hotel in Eastbourne and they wanted me the first thing they wanted me to do was walk in the wake and sing free love on the free love freeway <laughs> grab the mic from the there was a DJ there grab the mic and sing free love on the so I started doing that singing free love there's a there's a, there's a karaoke uh, track to it so I started singing it and um right in front of me was the mum, the dad, the aunties, the uncles, and I just and they all the lads and girls and you know, all his friends were at the bar. They were all on it, cracking up, shouting. They were really happy that I was there, mm -hmm. and the family, their faces. I just they probably thought, "What the fuck's going on? This is this is my son's funeral." You know what I mean? I'm like, and I'm singing. Fuck. Pretty girl on the hood of a Cadillac, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it was really, it was really weird. But then afterwards, they all came up and went, "Oh my god, that was so amazing! He would have loved that." And I had a beer with them and stuff, and had a good old laugh. And the family were fine. They didn't look wow. fine at the time, but they were fine. You know, they were. Wow. You know, I, I walked away from there, and I, I said to myself, "I'm never ever going to do that again. Oh, I'd never god. do a wake again." But yeah. that was. It was a one-off, and Christ, uh, you got yeah. some balls. You really got some balls. Yeah. You, that's, that's coming from you. Well, that's di like it's a very different environment. Like everything I do is very much set up. Your walk, it's the walking into the unknown that I think yeah. is the brave. Yeah, because like if you yeah. do in a theatre or a comedy club, you go, there'll be a stage, there'll be chairs, and all that kind of stuff. But you go, oh, I'm walking into a wake. Here we go. There could be. <laughs> Even like stag dudes, they get, you know, you don't, you don't know what. Well, stag dudes, you you said about my TikTok, um, Joe, the a video that's on there. Um, mm. That's gone. That's blown up recently, and and mm. I get a lot of inquiries for stag dudes. A lot of them back out because they can't afford it, but a lot of them can because now people don't get married until they're mid thirties, so oh, yeah. they're all quite successful in what they do in their careers and stuff, and they're all quite sophisticated it was back in the day 20 years ago i'd be i remember once i did a stag do and i gave up doing stag do's after this um i was at this stag do and we we're having a laugh and stuff and they were early 20s you know and they picked me up off the oh, ground yeah, that's what i thought and they stuff all that out my, yeah stuff fell out of my pockets and stuff and i thought ah oh, see you later boys and i and i just walked out yeah. Um, so I thought I will never do a stag do again. But now, over the last couple of years, they're really sophisticated. You know, the dads go and the uncles go and they're all in their well, thirties. I, I had to arrange a stag do recently and uh, it was a Saturday. Why can't we do that? It was a Saturday morning. We just had a little breakfast around someone's house and I, I hired a guitarist just because I thought it'd be a bit weird. <laughs> I'd love 
David Brent to come, you to come oh, round. What would you have you're... done round a breakfast table? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would you have been your thing? Do you, what do you like to know up front? So you say, say, yeah, you get an email is... for David. We're going to be having breakfast. I'd like you to come in and do whatever you think. What's your, what's your think? What do you think there? Yeah. Weirdly, I don't like too much information. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, I kind of like. I like to just storm in and take over. And you know, storm in and take over. <laughs> you know, with your experience as actors, you can kind of, and comedians, you can you can read people quite mm. quite well. So you know, I know who to approach and who not to, and what to. So, and but the great thing about David Brent, I'm pretty much protected by the character. Yeah, yeah. Because I can go well. That's what David Brent would have done. That's yeah, what yeah. David would have said. And yeah. it's, you know what I mean. So I can, I can, I can um, stand behind the character, which is lucky. So you just basically, when you go into it, is there a thing you do that gets you into it, like touching a tie or something? And you go, no, I'm now Brent. You know what I mean? And then you just think, no, you're mate, like him. honestly, I think I have turned into him. <laughs> I, I think, I think Tim. Uh, he went years ago, <laughs> and I'm now David Brent. <laughs> I just, yeah, it's so easy for me. I just slot into it. When I meet strangers, they go, "Is that your normal voice? Are you being you?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm out of character now." And they're like, <laughs> "Oh, we can't tell the difference." <laughs> what about the go, the go team? You committed to that, haven't you? Committed yeah, that's what I was thinking. You got to go for it, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Yeah. What, what about the message? You know what? Like. It's grey. So when I do David Brent, I have to use I use little trade secret. I use <laughs> mascara. It's so accurate. Put a bit of mascara in there. <laughs> but you but you've got a you've got a you've got a car hire, a, like a chauffeur service as well. Is yeah, that right? well that's how I met Dave's sister, who's yeah. lovely by the way, and she bloody loves you, mate. Oh God. Oh she is so proud of you, mate. How that started was, um, oh, it's all about me, this, isn't it? I want to talk about Very you much too. so. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're wringing you dry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, anyway, um, so, yeah, so I do a lot of weddings. I, I You know, I, I storm in and interrupt the best man's speech. Um, Tim. Tim, nice bit of, little, nice little earner, is it? Bunsen burner, nice little learner. Yeah, I bet it bloody is. Uh, so, <laughs> not why I do it. Yeah, I do it to be laughter. So, um, but uh, yeah, so I storm into a, a, a wedding. Um, so I've done so many. I've done thousands of weddings over the years, and every time I turn up, they've got a wedding car, right? And being a businessman, I've always sort of looked at trying to, like you've just said about rinsing me with my. Mm. With, I have always looked at ways of earning an extra bit of bunts. Um so yeah, I bought a nice posh car and started saying I could do the, be your wedding car driver as well as being Brent on the day. Oh, and that's, my yeah. brain would not think like that. <laughs> it really doesn't. I would I never look for opportunity that I just they just yeah. probably pass me by daily. Yeah. <laughs> so do so you drive them as Brent? Yeah. 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 Oh. Because the, people... <laughs> yeah, because the people that have hired me are big fans of Ricky or The Office. And most people that hire me know the full script of The Office, every word of every character. And, yeah, you just have to, you know, you have it's to. Funny. It's funny. It sort of do, don't you? Everything you've said, we go, yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. that scene. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Do you know that scene where Brent, has just seen Neil and then he comes out and he's sort of whispering to Tim that he could have easily have had him. Yeah. Like, it'd be nothing against karate. Yeah. Big boy <laughs> shit, mate. Big boy shit. Yeah. I'll put him through that wall. Yeah. <laughs> he's like a little slug with no personality. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I remember watching that scene for the, fir the first time. Just thinking, that is amazing. Bit of yeah. observation that. Oh, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Oh. But that, all those, you know, it just, um, that all those characters, everyone knows a character from The Office in their real life. Oh, and that's. I, 
I remember the one. You remember the scene with it's um brilliant. Oh, what's his name? Garth Marenghi guy. Um, Matt Holness. Matt Holness. You know he's the IT guy, and, it, and it, that bit where he says, uh, "It's oh. not your com- not your computer. It's, it's Worm and Hog's computer." <laughs> I literally ha- heard it three days later behind me in the office. Did you? <laughs> and I literally I was doing that. Yeah. Was, it's so. Well, I that whole done. scene when he says, um, oh, they said, uh, no professionals. Oh, yeah. yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes about, um, oh, Bruce Lee, you know, Enter the Dragon. I think you find it was Way of the Dragon. <laughs> oh, doesn't oh, he what? say, no, I haven't seen that. Have you not? No, yeah. no. I've yeah. seen, I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nailed it. Nailed it. That's so. Oh. And there are, there are people like that. Oh, and I'd work with them left, right, and centre. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, so good. Uh, 